hello everybody welcome back again uh, this is the uh, part two of creating a controls dynamically and assigning the events to that control in our last video we are left off how you can create the controls dynamically uh, during the runtime in this video i'm going to show you how, how you can assign the events to that control that you created in the last video to start with you have to have a sub procedure with the proper click event signature let me show you what is the click event signature is by typing the star sub procedure so private uh, sub I'm gonna name the sub procedure is a uh, click me so, click me and I'm gonna in the parentheses you have to have the event signature which is the sender who is sending the who is sending the event and what event they are sending so you have to have a sender sender as an object who is sending and e as a event of what even they are sending okay in this example what I want to show you is uh, every time you suppress the button I want to extract the text property of that button and display into a message box so first I need to do is I have to convert convert the sender object into a button so I can extract the text property of that button so in order to uh, convert the sender object into a button you have to have a button variable first so I'm gonna name it btn as a button uh, you don't have to have an instance of that button because the instance is coming from the sender object now we have to convert this button the sender into a button so uh, send it into a button we can store this uh, into a button object that we created before so the convert is to C type the sender is the object and the button that we uh, convert to button okay now we have just convert our sender object into a button now we can extract all the elements from the button so what I want to extract now is the text property of that button now I'm going to uh, extract the text property of that button and I'm going to store them in a string variable how to do them dim str as a string string equal to btn dot text and I'm going to display that string into the message box you know to do that message box dot show uh, str okay now we have just created our proper uh, sub procedure with the click event signature uh, and now we have to hook this uh, sub procedure into a windows uh, the button that we created in order to do that you have to use the two uh, you have to use you have to use the add handler and address of so I'm gonna start with add handler and handler the button that we created here dot click event and when you click this where do I look for that event it is address of uh, click me oh I'm missing the uh, K there okay I'll just uh, fix that one here see let's see K click click me sorry about that guys I didn't see okay click me okay Okay, uh, I think that's about it. We have just uh, created our proper sub procedure with the event signature and we hooked that into our button click event. Now, if I run the application, you can see and every time I press mm -hmm. any button, it displays the text property of that button into a Windows uh, Windows message box. Okay, mm -hmm. six, yeah, you can see that. Okay, now in the real world scenario, you are not going to take the text property of that button probably you need to have something else so uh, uh, in my supermarket project what I did is every time I scan the uh, products uh, product from the database and I take the product ID and I store them in the button tag event and after uh, button tag event and after when the user press the button and the click event I extract the uh, and I take that this product ID and I went back into the database and I get the product information such as the price and the discount and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you something very easy about the tag property of the button so uh, here I'm gonna set the button dot tag tag equal to here I'm just gonna store a string value here but in the real world scenario you can store anything you want 
object classes anything you want and you can extract from the click events so here i'm going to just uh, show you something very simple i'm going to type here b b u t d d o n button uh, button and uh, and here and i'm gonna put the index of that button is the high and here i'm gonna extract that tag property just then change the text to tag okay now if i run the application and if i press the button you can see now it displays the button 5 and button 10 uh, okay guys i hope you enjoy this video and if you have any question about this uh, this presentation i know you guys have many questions because i'm not good at english and uh, if you have any question please uh, let me know and i will help you okay uh, okay guys and i'll see you in my next video